In this module, we'll review the configuration and setting features in the dashboard. Users with org admin permissions can access the settings screen by clicking on the highlighted button. The VMSG settings and configuration screen allows the user with org admin permissions to configure a few system parameters. Determine which group is the top level group in your organization. This is generally the department or agency level that all of the other divisions or offices report to. You can change the graphics for check marks, selection graphics, logo, and abstract header. To insert a new graphic, just right click on the field and select Insert into Container. Next, select the graphic you want to insert by clicking on the Choose File button. Click the Upload button to save the graphic. If you're going to change the graphics, please use the smallest size file which will give an acceptable look. The checkmark and selection graphics should be approximately 32 by 32 pixels. The logo should be about 100 pixels wide. The abstract header should be about 800 pixels wide. If the Admin Activate Partners setting is set to Yes, any user can enter or edit partner and partner contact data, but only a user with org admin permissions can activate or deactivate the partner or partner contact. If this is set to No, anyone can activate or deactivate the partner or partner contact. The inactivity timeout sets the amount of time between 10 and 50 minutes that the system will log off a user if they're not active. Here you can set the parameters by which the system will determine when and to whom it will send email notifications. With this drop down you can turn on or turn off email notifications completely. Here you can select when email notifications will be sent. You can select any of these values and for weekly selections you can select which day or days of the week. Selecting Week 1 and Wednesday will send out the email notifications on the first Wednesday of each calendar month. You can select any of these trigger events to determine if an email will be sent. If the user has not updated their operational plan information in the last 30 days, they'll get an email reminder. If the user's activities are lagging behind schedule, they'll get an email. If any of the user's activities are overdue, they'll also get an email. These value types may be selected as defaults when entering subcategories and may be selected when tagging abstract services, goals, objectives, or activities with subcategories. These partner types are selected when entering a new record into the partner database tables. Please note, after entering values on this screen, just click anywhere on the screen to save the entry. This is an example of the email used to remind team leaders to update their information in the system on a regular basis, keeping the information current. Thanks for reviewing the settings and configurations for the dashboard. In the next module, we'll review the administrative document management features.